Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel where I share recipes, tips, and techniques with you. So today we are making mini chicken pot pies. I just recently purchased this mini pie pan and I thought, hmm, what should I make? And I've been having a craving for a chicken pot pie and I thought, why don't I make mini chicken pot pies? So that's what we're gonna do today. So we're gonna start off by melting four tablespoons of unsalted butter in a pan. And now we're gonna add our chicken. After we add our chicken and we start stirring it around, we're gonna add our vegetables, which are carrots and onion. Give that a quick stir. Now for our spices, our salt, thyme, pepper, and garlic powder. Mix this around until everything is combined. We're going to cook this on medium-high heat for about 8 to 10 minutes until the chicken is cooked through. Chicken and our vegetables seem to be cooking through quite nicely. And to this, I'm going to be adding some flour. This is what's going to thicken everything up. And I'm going to stir this around until no dry flour remains. Kind of cooking off the floury taste, I guess you could say. To this, I'm going to be adding milk. Now, my recipe calls for um, heavy cream, and I don't want that. Milk works just as well, that's fine. So whether you want to use milk or cream, totally up to you. So we're going to stir this around, and this is what's going to thicken. This is kind of like a roux, in a way, with the butter and the flour, now the milk. See how thick that is? We're going to add some chicken stock. Chicken broth, chicken stock. This is actually chicken bone broth. And I'm gonna stir this around until it's all combined. I want this mixture to get really thick. It's gonna take about three or four minutes for this to happen. Look how thick our mixture's getting right now. We're almost there. And I'm going to add our green peas. Mix that all in. I'm letting the filling for our chicken pot pies cool completely. You don't want to put hot filling onto a, into a pie crust. If you do that, the pie crust would get really soggy and we don't want that. Now I've gone ahead and rolled my dough out. I've made this dough ahead of time. This is my all butter pie crust dough and I'll leave a link to that in the description. If you'd like to use regular store-bought pie crust, that's fine. So what I'm gonna do is, this is about a, a five inch pastry cutter. I'm going to cut out as many circles as I can get before I have to re-roll it again. I'm going to cover these poppies in the refrigerator. I'll let them chill before we fill them. Now I have our six tops to our pies and I'm just going to put them on a plate, cover them, put them in the refrigerator and let them chill as well. All right, so our filling is totally cooled off and I'm just going to Start spooning it in. I think I could add a little bit more. This is my large cookie scoop. Now it's time to put on the tops of our chicken pot pies and we're gonna crimp the edges as we go. Now I'm gonna seal the edges of the crust by pressing down with a fork. And lastly, we're going to make slits in the top of the pies for ventilation while they're baking. All right, in the oven we go. Here we are. I'm thinking now that maybe chicken pot pie was a little ambitious for my first time using this, but we'll see. Look at how these turned out. I'm actually really, really happy. Well, thanks again for joining me as we made our mini chicken pot pies. I'm really excited with how they turned out. And what's great is whatever we don't eat tonight, they're freezable, so easy meal. I am, I just cannot wait to dive into this. <laughs> mm. 
I'll leave a link to this recipe in the description below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any videos, and I'll see you next time.